Welcome to the new TBC version 4.10 smart picking functionality video. We've added road marking as a new feature to extract from point clouds in TBC 4.10. So I will demo this with this data set. This is an SX10 data set. You can see uh, the uh, vectors from the total station setups with the SX10 coming down in feature uh, in 3D view turn around, rotate a little bit. This is a bridge uh, with vehicle traffic. Um, one of the nice things about the SX10 instrument is the multiple passes that um, the instrument can do. So for example, you see all of this noise from the vehicle traffic. Well, with multiple passes, we are still able to get a accurate uh, return on the bridge surfaces both uh, above and then below as well. Using the functionality in the point clouds tab to classify regions, we can um, further just focus on what we're trying to do here. We're trying to extract the centerline stripe of this roadway. Let's zoom in on it here a little bit. And so we don't really need to see all the other vegetation, I'd like to be able to clip this noise out from the, from the vehicles. Um, use the uh, classify regions command. When the extraction is complete, you will see in your um, view filter manager or your project explorer some new regions. To create a new region from, for example, a subregion of uh, um, an existing region or maybe an unclassified selection of points, you can use the create region command and either the rectangular select or the polygon select tool to um, select your individual point clouds of, um, of interest and then you use the create region command. That is how I created a singular road surface region. The noise from the traffic um, moving past these uh, setups are now gone and I can focus in on just what I'm interested in, the um, road centerline stripe here. I can see it pretty well. The new Smart Pick feature extraction tool for road marking. Where is this? It is embedded into our CAD commands. So in Create Point, Line String, or Polygon, if you launch one of these three tools, you will be able to use the Smart Pick functionality. If I launch line string, for example, I can name my line string. I can call it roadway center. Assign a layer, line styles if I'd like. And then now I'm left with um, drafting my line string. It's prompting me for a coordinate. In the right of the coordinate box, I'll leave the cursor there, you can see this is the Point Cloud Smart Picking mode. So this is how you launch and access the Smart Picking functionality. From the drop-down box, you see we've got Face of Curve and Gutter. Those have been added in previous releases of TBC. But in TBC version 4.10, we've got Roadmark. The important thing to note with this command is that it uses the intensity value from the point cloud, kind of that contrast, to pick and snap to that area of contrast. That will make a little bit more sense if I go into point cause, change the rendering to either grayscale or color-coded intensity. I'll change it to grayscale. And you can see here now with my nice white background, the hard pavement is a uh, shade of gray there, and my centerline stripe is a very clear white line. This contrast difference is what the Smart Pick Roadmark tool uses to uh, extract the geometry. So, back to my extraction. Point cloud smart picking open, picking type selected as road mark, great. Now I go in my coordinate box and from either 3D view or my plan view, I can pick on the point cloud and I get my uh, validation window. Now notice how I've got red crosshair where um, if I say validate, my vertex would be placed there. This is line string, so it will pick both a, um, 
uh, x, y, and then a z elevation coordinate as well. If I'm happy with this, you can say validate, and my vertex appears. Continue on down my line, pick on the point cloud, and I hit validate, and I will continue to move down the line. Working through this stretch of my bridge, come back down to where I started. I'll do one final smart pick, validate. And then in TBC, you can set the auto close to check, and it will auto close your line string. Like any of the smart pick tools, is dependent on the point cloud density. So the denser the point cloud, the better. Um, with smart pick road marking as well, remember that we're using the intensity value. It doesn't um, matter to the tool what uh, the rendering color is here. I would have the same results if I had uh, color-coded intensity or true color or my grayscale intensity. So with my line completed, I can rotate here a little bit in 3D view. See I've got a 3D polyline of my centerline road stripe. This tool can be confidently used to extract road marking from your point cloud data in TBC version 4.10 and beyond.